We learnt in the previous video that the pitch of a note is determined by its fundamental frequency, even though it may have numerous overtones. Now, not all harmonics need to be active. If a note is missing a harmonic, it doesn't affect the pitch of the note, but only affects the timbre. This is why plucking a guitar string in different places will sound different. So if we take the note A at 110 Hz, then the harmonics we would hear would be multiples of the fundamental frequency. So we would hear 110 Hz, 220 Hz, 330 Hz, 440 Hz, and so on. But if we were missing the third overtone at 440 Hz, we would still hear the note A at 110 Hz. It would just have a slightly different timbre. In fact, there could be numerous silent harmonics, but we would still hear the note at its fundamental frequency of 110 Hz. But what happens if we remove the fundamental frequency? For example, what if we had a note with the frequencies of 220, 330, 440, 550, and 660 hertz? Now what note would this sound like? Now interestingly, even though the fundamental frequency is missing, this note will still sound like an A with a frequency of 110 hertz. This is because those other five frequencies only repeat their collective cycle or their overall pattern 110 times per second. We still hear the note vibrate with an overall frequency of 110 hertz. Now it's tempting to say that this is actually the note A an octave higher, but that's not the case. The note A an octave higher, so at 220 hertz, would not have an overtone at 330 hertz or 550 hertz. So we still hear the note A at 110 hertz, even though the fundamental frequency is missing. So we have created a fundamentalless note, which is rather interesting. Now in the past, speaker cabinets would contain two or three different speakers to play at different frequencies. Small tight speakers for higher notes, and big loose ones for lower notes. But using this missing fundamental idea, you can actually play low frequency notes from standard small speakers, even if the speaker can't reach that low fundamental frequency. So if, for example, a speaker can't play as low as 110 hertz, it just plays all the overtones from 220 hertz up. And this is exactly what modern day speakers do. So if you're listening to a heavy bass line on small speakers, it's probably missing its fundamental frequency.